Hello everyone and welcome to the Crypto Truth Channel. Um, so this video is basically made for everyone out there who, well, let's just say you're new to crypto. You have no idea where to go. You have no idea where to start. Um, you heard you heard your friends talking about Bitcoin and how they made so much money when they invested in this project and that project. And you're like, what in the world? And then they're talking to you about it. And then they're talking about blockchain. And then they're talking about dApps. And then they're talking about DeFi and all of these phrases that they're coming up with. And you're like, it is terminology. And you're like, well, what in the world going on? Like, I, I don't understand. All I want to do is invest in Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrencies out there that's going to make me some money, right? That's not how it works, people. Um, you need to do your own research. So um, you need to know um, cryptocurrency is not just some kind of multi-level marketing scheme or anything like that. It's not even close to that. It's not some um, scam. Although there are, you can create scams from cryptocurrency. So, so as to not be, not to confuse you, there are scams out there just like everything else. Um, I have a video about a warning just talking about scams and, and the things that can happen. But you're new to crypto. You don't know where to go. You do want to invest in cryptocurrency um, or Bitcoin because maybe your friend said something or whatever. So if you're just starting out, this video is for you. It's going to be really short, but I want to give you just guys some, um, I'm not a finance, by the way, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just, just saying, Hey, look here. I was new just like you guys were. And I just want to give up. I'm just a regular guy. I don't have a lot of money. You're not going to see me with Lambos in the back or big houses or anything like that. I'm just a normal guy trying to invest, um, the little bit of money that he has trying to get a little piece of the pie so he can buy a house, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, take care of his family. So that being said, um, you want to invest in Bitcoin. So the first thing you need to understand is that there are exchanges out there, right? So, um, there are cryptocurrency exchanges. Now, if you're here in America, things might be a little bit difficult for you. You're going to have to step out of your comfort zone a little bit because what happens is, is in order to get fiat currency onto, especially here in America, onto a United States exchange, you're going to need your, um, your card, your credit card or debit card or whatever, or have it connected to your bank so that you can exchange those funds It be, ha have it connected to the exchange so that you can receive Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. So if you're in the United States of America, my best advice to you is to first start off by understanding, um, one, understanding what blockchain is and um, maybe looking at some videos. There's plenty of information out there on YouTube, Google. Um, and then also, if you just want, if you just trust your friend and you're like, hey, my friend invested in it, I'm doing what he told me to do. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm pretty sure that other people listen to others. So um, if you're, or if you've done your own research and you're like, I really want to do this, then by all means, go ahead and, um, you know, connect. If you're in the United States of America, connect to wherever, um, change your fiat into, um, and then, by the way, there's a lot of um, videos and examples out there. It's really, really, really easy. Um, obviously, the top ones here in the United States of America, um, obviously, Coinbase is the big one. Binance US is a big one. Um, uh, I believe the um, the the Winklevoss um, twins have one. I forgot what it was called. Um, there, so there are some um, different uh, exchanges here in the United States that you can use. Now, the next step is, is once you do purchase that cryptocurrency, um, uh, what you want to do is if you have cryptocurrency, uh, like a project or something that you want to invest in, but it's not in the United States or it's not in your general area, well, what you could do is you could take those funds and you could send them somewhere else. Now, obviously, you want to make sure that you're um, in legal compliance and you're following legal um, things within your jurisdiction. Unfortunately, here in the United States, you can be in Florida, Wyoming, California, New York, and they all have different rules. You want to find out what you can and cannot do. 
Now, for those who are not in the United States, I apologize. I'm not familiar with your rules and your laws. But one of the things is that I do understand is that once you have XRP or Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever you have, you can take that and you can send it to whatever exchange you want. Some exchanges you can have, you can you can take, um, you can use one exchange and then send it to another exchange. Okay, so um, that is possible. So you can invest in whatever you want. Um, my advice, um, by the way, is to look at, there's a lot of tutorial videos and people showing you step by step on what to invest, not, not exactly what to invest in, but how to invest in um, like Coinbase or Binance US and how easy the steps is. So there's step by step process out there. Now, here's something that I, um, I highly, highly recommend that everyone do. Please, 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 please um, question everything. I want you um, to be a kid in this situation. I want you to, why is the sky blue? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? When you're in the cryptocurrency space, you need to ask questions. You need to say, well, why do I need to give you 10 Bitcoin so you can give me 30 Bitcoin later? Why do I need to give you, you know, 15 Ethereum in this account and then eventually you're going to give me more over a little bit at a time. Question everything because there are a lot of scams out there. I cannot, I cannot say that enough. So if you're new to the crypto space, please understand that because you are new, people are going to start taking advantage of you. And unfortunately, I hate to say this, but people who have been in the um, in the crypto space for a very long time are going to start taking advantage of you. What you're going to do is you're going to see people all excited. Hey, you know, hey, we made so much money, six thousand percent gains man and then they you know i got you know look at my car i got this lambo and i only did it you know i only invested in this this time to this time they're they're hyping up and a lot of times some of them are even hyping up their own coins some um some people are connected to a um specific um crypto like group so they all kind of like stick together and stuff like that. So there, there's a lot of things that's going on that you can fall, you can um, fall into their trap. So the first thing I want you to do is take a deep breath. I want you to understand that while, like myself, um, due to unfortunate circumstances, I've been following cryptocurrency for a very long time, but due to unfortunate circumstances, I had not, I have not been able to invest anything into cryptocurrency. And it's, as you can see, it's huge right now. I would kick myself in the rear end, but I'm not doing that because, well, I can only control so much. Like if you don't have money, you don't have money. If things happen, things happen. And trust me on this, things happen in life. I get it. So, um, I missed out on this big, huge run that happened in 2017. Like, and, and, you know, I would be kicking myself again, but I'm not. So I missed out, right? Um, I jumped in around 2000, I would say 2018, early 2018 is really, I really got started. I did invest in a couple of things in 2017, but it really wasn't like, I didn't really have a lot of money or anything. Like I didn't, have, I didn't have nothing. I'm talking about 20, $30. Um, so obviously that's not much, but at the same time, I came in late when the market was high, you know, um, and, and everything like all the, the retail investors. And, and by the way, the market is different right now. So right now, um, you know, it's really, um, a lot of the institutions that are really starting to pick up steam as far as picking up cryptocurrencies and investing in digital assets. So um, that's one of the things that uh, you have to understand is there's a major difference from last time. But in a way, that being said, I know what it's like um, going into something, you're going in um, high or you're seeing the market high and you're like, wow, this is great. And then for three years, people you have to understand for almost three years it's been watching paint dry agonizing right it's it's been like that you know so since i've been in the cryptocurrency space um cryptocurrency hasn't really gone anywhere it, now it's picked up a lot of adoption and obviously there's a lot of things that happened in the background your institutions are talking about how they've been investing in bitcoin a long time ago all that other good stuff and i've known about all of that but it's really not as far as financial 
financially and as an, as an investment, it really hasn't gone anywhere. Um, and now it's starting to go somewhere. So for three years, you know, when I would tell people about cryptocurrency and everything, I was like, oh, well, where is it at now? Well, what's going on now? Well, I heard it went to $20,000 and now it's to $3,000 now. And what, what is this? And what's that? And I heard that that was a scam. And I heard this guy hacked and, and everything else in between. Like, I get it. I get it. Guess what? Even though that happened in those last, in these last three years, guess what? It's still going to happen. And there's still going to be people who fall for scams. There's still going to be people who fall for um, cryptocurrency um, projects um, that really have no base whatsoever. Um, one of the things I think I talk about in one of my videos, and I think I'm going to make a new video just specifically dedicated to understanding a, the difference between a, a project in which it's, it's attempting to make progress and then projects that are not making any kind of projects and they're just making promises. Okay, so whatever a white paper say or whatever uh, is going on, which you're going to need to probably look up what white paper is, all that good stuff. But the point is, is that whatever is going on, you need to really fully, truly understand what you're invested in. Okay, um, there are a lot of people out there who make money and they're like, man, I ain't got time to do all that. I'm just going to throw my money in and I'm, I got this friend over here say I need to do this and that and that everything. That's fine. I mean, I understand. We, we all have things that we're um, most interested in. I mean, if I had money like that, I wouldn't do it. But then again, I've never had money like that to just be like, I'm not going to do any research. So, hey, look, if you got it like that, you got it like that. But for all of us, normal people who have money and we just don't want to sit there and just throw it away into the wind, you might want to do a little bit of research. So you're going to hear this a lot. Um, if you're new to the cryptocurrency space, understand you need to do your own research. Now, I'm going to get into um, some of the things. Some people are like, oh, well, it's just too complicated. Everything else in between. I promise you, if you continue to um, at least listen, even just five to 10 minutes a day. And I know everybody has, everybody has five to 10 minutes a day. Don't tell me. There's a lot of people out there, oh, I'm too busy and I'm too, and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and everything else in between. You can listen to cryptocurrency news while you're in a car. And if you don't, if you don't have a car that connects to your phone, you can always have it on, on your phone speaker. So there are other ways. There's a lot of ways you can go for a walk. Man, I was outside. Um, there's been times where I've been outside because, you know, I play basketball and everything. Um, I, I like, you know, I'm out there shooting hoops and I'm listening to cryptocurrency news and I'm listening to what the updates and what's going on within the government and how they're using it and what other countries are doing and all this other good stuff. So let me tell you something, people. Don't tell me that you um, it's too complicated and that you don't have time. You make time for what you want to have time for. And again, if we talk, if we're going to talk about this, time is money, right? So um, we all, everyone always talk about how time is money. Well, let me tell you something. The um, being ignorant um, can cost you a lot of money, and that's one of the things of why I um, wanted to talk to um, others uh, as well out there in the crypto space. And not only that, but I feel like I'm alone because I'm over here in my area, and no matter who I talk to about cryptocurrency, they don't want to hear it. They don't, they're like, oh, when you got, I, it, it, it's crazy. My friends, family don't want to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. They're not interested in it. And it's not, you know, I try to talk to them about cryptocurrency and they're about falling asleep. They don't care. But I tell you what, if somebody, if uh, something happened, um, you know, funny YouTube videos and all, everything else in between and TikTok and all the other good stuff. Oh, that, oh that's funny. Oh, that's great. Oh, this, this made me money. And I, I made money. It's all about how you think and how you're doing things. So please understand people. The cryptocurrency space is a different ballgame. This is not the stock market, okay? This is not the stock market. And yes, there are some things in which um, they 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 correlate with each other, but it is not the stock market. So um, I need you guys to understand the differences um, and understand, you know, blockchain, understand currencies, what a currency currency is, and securities, and um, store value, and um, also understand the different. There are different projects out there that have different use cases. Make sure that your project actually does have a use case. If they don't have a use case in which someone has to use it, then obviously there's a lot of speculation there. I'm not going to talk about scams and everything else in between, but please, please, please make sure you do your own research when it comes to that. Okay. All right. Um, that's going to pretty much cover it for this video. I just wanted you guys to understand, especially people who are new to the crypto space, Crypto is about to take off and 
uh, I understand that a lot of you are coming in. You feel like you're coming in late. You don't know what to do. Um, you don't know how to find projects. And it, it's just really tough because you really want to make money. And you want to make money like your friend made money. But let me tell you something. Some of, some of your friends have probably waited three, two to three years for this to happen. So you have to be patient. It's going to grow over time as well. But this isn't some kind of get rich quick scheme. OK, so I need you guys to understand that. Yes. Can you invest in a, a small cap, um, you know, some project number, you know, coin number 600 or whatever baller coin? You know, oh, I got a baller coin, you know, uh, baller coin went up six thousand percent. You know, can it make you a lot of money? And, you know, within two months, you become a millionaire. Anything is possible in the crypto space. But is it probable? Probably not. It's, it's not probable. It's, it's probably not going to happen. OK, so but what I will say is if you learn to invest your money in solid projects um, that will go, that is sustainable and that has the technology, it has the um, uh, the the, um, the community behind it as well, because there's another thing about community. It's probably going to make it. It's probably going to be used in the future and you're really, really early right now. And yes, I know some people are like, well, I just got into it and I heard it used to be at this price and this price. This is true. But at the same time, it's going to grow even more. Um, we can talk about Bitcoin. I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. There are a lot of people out there. Please be careful. Um, they're, they're, um, I, that's why it's important for you guys to understand um, where you're getting your information from. Please discern um, and understand how um, whatever crypto project that you you want to invest in, how it um, is affected by the economy. Um, how um, um, how how will it translate um, into being used, having a proper use case? These are the most important things. OK. Um, and then obviously there's a lot of projects out there that really honestly it don't really have anything to do with changing the world, but it has, you know, it may have a, a use case in which, um, you know, makes something more efficient. So again, like I said, please do your own research. Start from the bottom, people. Um, it's not that difficult. If you're older, please talk to um, a, a younger person. Um, it, that, that's if you don't understand, because sometimes younger people don't understand, you know, um, there are teenagers. I know there, uh, there are teenagers. My friend have teenagers and I tell them about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And they're like, huh, what? I don't want to know about that. Maybe I don't know what I mean. What my Snapchat say? You know, they got all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> it's like they, they, they're, they're, they're really not interested, but, um, I'm a millennial. And I have been through a lot. I've been through 2008. I was working two jobs. I've been through um, two jobs um, in 2008. Um, I joined the military in 2008 because I couldn't take care of my family. Um, and then um, now this has happened with the economy and everything else in between. It's just extremely, extremely important to be able to um, educate yourself. And please do not become ignorant. Do not also... I have to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this too much. And I know this is a little bit long winded. Uh, I'm, I'm a long winded person. I apologize. Um, but I have to say this. Look, you're going to have to change the way you think. If you think you're going to come into the cryptocurrency space and that you know everything and that always oh, just like the stock market and everything else in between. No, you need to humble yourself. You need to start to, from the beginning. You need to do your own research. OK, you need to stop. First off, I'm a YouTuber. Um, well, I, I make a couple of videos. I'm not like a professional YouTuber or anything like that, but I'm a YouTuber who is just trying to express and, um, himself, but also express myself to explain to you guys of what's out there. And please, 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 please be careful of everyone out there talking about how, you know, this is going to make it, that's going to make it promises, um, all of that kind of stuff. Please people, this is new stuff. It is new, even um, within people within the government. You know, I've talked to a lot of people, even within um, the political realm. They have no idea what what's going on when it comes to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, and they won't have any idea. They don't. They they have no interest. They're um, in 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 learning these things because, to be honest with you, it makes it, it 
blockchain technology um, can be more efficient and can help, well, no, is more efficient and can help um, a lot of processes run smoother, especially within the government. But because they're ignorant, a lot of people are ignorant here in America and especially, um, especially um, politicians who want to lean to the right or lean to the left, everything. How about people just stand straight up? Just stand straight up. Stop leaning left and right. Just stand straight up and then just um, solve a problem. That, that, that's what needs to happen. So anyway, going off on my soapbox, I'll leave that alone. But thank you guys um, for watching the video. I just want all you guys out there who are new um, to cryptocurrency. I personally, again, you probably see me make a lot of um, videos on a project called Holochain. I am a probably a big supporter of Hollow Chain. I don't really have a lot of hot token, but I love what they're doing. I love their project. But again, do your own research, okay? Um, if you guys um, have any questions or any concerns or anyone that want to know anything about a specific um, coin or token, please um, go ahead and drop it down below. Let me know. Ask me anything. I promise you, I probably will. I have a 99% chance of answering your question um so but anyway that's it for today um i've made a couple of videos today and i just wanted to make this one specifically for people who are new to crypto um my name is chris you've just been hit with the crypto truth